Hi, this is Dave, and I uh, want to review with you what I take uh, kayaking and canoeing on a day trip uh, in the springtime when the weather conditions are a bit unstable and the water temperature is going to be below uh, 50 degrees. So this is my fire kit, and inside the fire kit I've got uh, petroleum jelly soaked cotton balls here and here got two lighters, got a 2000 milliwatt uh, laser uh, which can be used to not only start fires but also as a signal flare. I've got uh, 30 matches, they're broken so they fit in a small container and I have a um, striker uh, for starting uh, fires using a spark. Uh, also with some magnesium uh, so you can scrape off some magnesium and get that fire going. Next I've got uh, a couple packs of toilet paper. Uh, this is a mirror and some hand sanitizer, some lip balm which is also good for cuts and some ibuprofen um, for if I uh, have a muscle ache. This is a fishing line, about 50 feet of it. A couple of fish hooks, some nylon cord and a sharpening stone. Here's my communications waterproof case for my cell phone. I carry two survival blankets. Now all of those items that I just reviewed, they will fit in a hip pack, otherwise known as a fanny pack. Then I've got a rain poncho, those cost about two or three dollars. Got a backup shirt, that's hemp material, uh, so it's very durable and um, it wicks the water away from you. This is a pair of pants. Uh, those are also hemp and they have a drawstring so no worries about belts or suspenders. Carry two lengths of cord. Um, this one is 28 feet and this one is 30 feet and if you knot them up uh, they end up being just, uh, just about a foot long and they unravel without uh, binding. I have a mesh bag which was a fruit a uh, grocery store fruit bag for if I want to pick up items, shells, rocks, sticks, or whatever, small items. And then I have a, a Ziploc bag if I want to uh, keep get, pick up some items um, and keep them in a storage bag. A uh, folding uh, cutting tool and also a very compact wire cutting tool. That's the backpack that I put everything in, uh, very small and I also keep an extra length of rope there. Uh, that's about 100 feet of uh, 550 cord. And then two water bottles. And of course I'll fill those uh, before I head out. This is what I wear kayaking uh, during the cold weather months when the water temperature is below 55 degrees. A pair of uh, very thick 100% uh, wool socks uh, ordinary t-shirt and then I put a, uh, a wicking material long sleeve mock turtleneck shirt on and a pair of uh, very loose fitting pants uh, I like pockets so uh, most of my pants have pockets um, like a normal pair of jeans and then the uh, carry pockets on the sides put on a uh, neoprene a wetsuit uh, as you can see, they, uh, they stop um, mid-thigh and sleeveless. Put a pair of uh, booties on. I just got these. Uh, very nice. They're uh, ankle deep. Uh, so you can step out in the water and uh, the water pulls right off of them. Always take a scarf with me. Uh, you can wrap it around your neck. Uh, blow your nose in it. <laughs> Uh, you can wrap it around your head, um, keep the, the heat in. Um, a pair of cotton gloves and then I uh, made a pair of mittens out of a wool blanket. And then I have my rain resistant but not rain proof uh, jacket. It is windproof uh, and it is oversized two sizes. Uh, it has a hood, a drawstring, so I can cinch it down if I need to. Gives me plenty of room for moving.